just a few things I want to highlight and then um, hopefully uh, we'll, we'll move into a deeper conversation about um, the rest of the content for today. Um, so somebody already pointed out how Cone understands that racism um, basically is violenced against one's spiritual self, right? Like he is basically talking about and, 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 and recognizing that there's a particular kind of internal spiritual harm that racism does. Now for, um, <clears throat> for BIPOC folks, uh, this spiritual death came through the adoption of colonial Christianity right, of a kind of colonial Christianity that says that on, the only way to be human was to be white and to be Christian. I was particularly struck by the phrase he wrote in the uh, chapter where he says, in my travels around the world, I am amazed at how much people of color want to be white. They want to look like whites. They want to talk like whites and even pray like whites. Many of them are still worshiping a white God and a blonde haired blue eyed Jesus still singing watch me and I will be whiter than snow. This is a kind of slow violence against one's soul and the soul of their humanity, the soul of their community. The suffering and harm may not be immediately visible with this kind of slow violence, but over time, it becomes more and more obvious how the internalized racism that they are living with has harmed not only themselves, but their communities, and particularly those communities that are Christian who've adopted these kinds of ways of thinking. 